During the midst of the Second World War, doctors and nurses were on the front line taking care of wounded soldiers. But back home, diseases and infections were spreading at rapid rates. Medical professionals realized that coughs and sneezes were responsible for the spread of airborne infections. As a result, the Ministry of Information was founded in 1939 and spread propaganda in order to push government initiatives, one of which being to stabilize the economy. However, with the constant spread of airborne diseases, many men and women were too ill to go into work, causing the economy to further destabilize. Posters were put up across public spaces and in particular on modes of transport in order to remind people to cough and sneeze into their handkerchiefs. These posters were full of bold colours and striking fonts so that they could catch the public's eye and as a result of this, the campaign was highly effective and very well received by most people. Phrases on the posters such as keep the nation fighting fit served as a reminder that this was a collective effort to save the country. For many of us, the spread of coronavirus has led to lockdown and given us the opportunity to spend more time at home and enjoy more leisure activities. Particularly for me, I've been able to spend more time catching up on sleep and watching TV. However, this was not the case during the time that the Cuffs and Sneezes campaign was released. People were encouraged to go into work and life continued as normal, but the use of handkerchiefs was heavily encouraged. Despite these differences, we can draw many parallels between the campaign to prevent airborne diseases through coughs and sneezes and the current pandemic. The slogan, coughs and sneezes spread diseases, which first started in 1939, is still echoed today in NHS posters and masks have become the new handkerchiefs. But perhaps the most important similarity we can find is this sense of solidarity and togetherness everyone has displayed in times of need be this through the idea of saving nine lives and looking out for others, or through wearing masks, doctors volunteering, and clapping for the NHS. <laughs>